One of the problems encountered by electrical engineers, students, and amateur hobbyists is that they'll end up with, at the end of a project, a bunch of resistors in a pile that they need to resort and return to stock. Or perhaps they've purchased an assorted kit of resistors and they need to know which one of those resistors is the exact value they need for their project. Resistors come with color bands printed on them which tell you the value of the resistor, or at least the, the value that it's intended to be by the manufacturer. And what you can do is you can memorize the color bands and do it in your head. So you can calculate the, the value of the resistor in your head. Another option is you can purchase a cardboard helper tool and you turn the dials to the different colors and it tells you then the value below. You can, you can read the value off the card. And that works fine. Uh, another choice is to enter it into a website. There's a lot of websites with helper utilities online. In this case I have a resistor that's orange, orange, brown. And so I just click in orange, orange, brown. Hit calculate and it tells me the value should be 330 ohms. Great! That works fine as well. Uh, another method that, that a lot of people use is they'll connect the resistor to a multimeter and the multimeter will calculate the value. This has got the shortest lived backlight of any multimeter I know of. So it's telling me this resistor is 325 ohms, 326 ohms about. And that's fine. That's fine for the, the use of my project. It's not 330, which is what the manufacturer intended, but it's the real value. But if you've got a whole pile of resistors, all of these methods take a long time to implement. What I've done as a solution is I've created a device made out of Legos, and on the inside of the device is a printed circuit board. The printed circuit board has a microcontroller and four or five resistors of known resistance value. What happens is the resistor of unknown value is placed in the minifigure's hands, and the microcontroller compares the various resistors it has that it knows the values of to the unknown one placed in the minifigure's hands. It calculates that value and sends it up to a .NET application running on Windows. And the .NET application tries to find the nearest known standard resistance value, which it displays on the screen and then speaks. So let's see how it works. Well, this one is yellow, purple, black. 47 ohm. 47 ohm. This next one, this is red, red, yellow. 220 kilo ohm. This one is brown, black, yellow. Should be 100k. 100 kilo ohm. Very good. So that one I had lying around. 6.8 kilo ohm. And you can see that you'd be able to sort through resistors very, very quickly. You could look at the screen if you wanted to, but you wouldn't even need to because it speaks it. Besides measuring resistance, I had a spare pin, and so I added this minifigure in the back. There's a little metal wrench, and there's a bit of copper on the bottom of the, uh, of the board. And you place a battery in here, a AA or a AAA. 1.60 volts. And it measures how full the battery is. One point three four volts. And this one should be the lowest of them all. One point one nine volts. This project was a lot of fun because not only is it useful but it's a good combination of Windows software, hardware, and embedded software.